Kuala Lumpur is the capital city of Malaysia, a melting pot of diverse cultures and is currently the sixth most visited city in the entire world, more so than New York or Paris. The delicious foods oh and notable landmarks are some of the reasons that people love to come to this modern city. It's our first time visiting Kuala Lumpur and in today's video we are going to be taking you with us as we explore some of these amazing parts of the city. All right, it's our first time in Kuala Lumpur. And we cannot wait to go explore, let's go. Hello. So I actually have a family friend that lived here in the city for a few years and so he made a number of suggestions that are really popular for locals and tourists alike. We've got quite the list, we're really excited to go take you guys out with us. We're just headed right now to a local pub, a British pub. You know we gotta eat the British food. <laughs> gotta eat that British food, we're really hungry and really excited to go check that out. Before we go hit up one of the most popular markets in the city and then we got some cool nightlife things to show you guys as well, so stick around for that. All right, so we just got here to the gravel coffee kitchen and craft beers. Excited to check this place out. We've heard real good things. Dun, dun, dun. No. They're fully booked today. I've never seen a restaurant that says they're fully booked. Hi, you're fully booked? Yeah, we have fully booked for Oh, oh you're so busy. Oh. So unfortunately, we didn't think to book ahead. They couldn't fit us in because it's such a popular place. They did let me step in and take a quick look so we could show you guys what it looks like. We definitely gotta go back because yeah. that roast looks amazing. Yorkshire puddings are one of our favorite items for sure, so. But there are tons of restaurants around us, so we are not disappointed. We will no. keep on going. No, there's lots to eat around this area. We'll put it up in the map right now so that you know where we're at. Definitely a lot of restaurants. There's even a snooker pool table across the street. There we go. So yeah. Lots to eat and do in this area. We'll find something. All right, we're in. We're starving. <laughs> we went to a couple of different places around this neighborhood and they were all fully booked or like a half hour wait. I'm definitely glad we found this place. One thing we've noticed since being in Southeast Asia is it seems like it's really hard to find like actual brewed coffee. Most of the coffee they sell in grocery stores or markets is all the instant coffee. So I'm excited for a little espresso, that's for sure. Yeah, it says on the menu that they've won achievements for their coffee art, which is super cool. I hope I get a good design. I'm expecting high expectation on this. <laughs> All right, I got the shrimp tacos and I am starving, so I cannot wait to dive into this. Mm. So good. The tacos were looking good, but these burgers look amazing. I love when it comes with a fried egg on top. We also got the house salad to share. Ooh, this looks amazing. Wow. Amazing. Ooh. We got the house latte. This is the first time I've ever had one of these like artistic lattes or cappuccinos before. I almost feel guilty having a drink of it and like ruining it. Kind of want to mix it up and whatnot, but it's like looks so good. It's too beautiful. Yeah, it's so beautiful. It's like unbelievable. I don't know how they do it. I can't quite make out what the picture was. It's either like a lion or a koala bear, something. Absolutely great tasting coffee too, though. Here's my cappuccino. Thank you. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know what that is either. It looks I'm like the most beautiful squiggly line. Of monkey? I don't think I got a proper one. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got the buddy who said it's his first day or something. They're like, just run it out. It almost looks like Santa Claus. <laughs> Do you see that with the hat and the beard and the big belly? I think it almost looks like one of those ink blots that they have at like the psychiatry clinic. <laughs> what do you see? 
Jess is like trying to find the picture yeah. in your car. <laughs> The look on your face when it came down went from like so excited to like, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's anything. All right, 103 coffee, must try. So good, we are absolutely stuffed. Absolutely <laughs> stuffed. Now, this is a great area of the city where gavel and a couple other really nice restaurants are thankfully 103 coffee has a couple of locations so you don't have to come all the way down here if you want to try it but we would strongly recommend checking it out Definitely. for sure we're heading over to another really popular area of the city now one of the most popular street markets in all of kuala lumpur let's go check it out All right, so we just made it down here to Pedaling Street in Chinatown. Awesome street market with a number of different designer knockoff brands, street food. I don't think we'll need any of that though. We're so full from that restaurant. <laughs> but if you're coming to shop, you can find pretty much anything you want down here. It is known as the biggest knockoff markets in the city. Yeah, and one of the biggest in all of Southeast Asia. So let's go check it out. Hey, these are the ones that I got in Thailand. Yeah, those are like the exact yeah. same pair. Same supplier. Like exactly the same. But of course, you always have to look at that crotch because that's the first thing that goes. <laughs> the, crotch the crotch is always the first thing. <laughs> it's always the washing machine. Hopefully, I don't rip again. <laughs> yeah, hopefully not. Tried to charge her 40 ringgit. We talked him down to 25. Yeah, he was very certain on 28, and I was like, no, 25 or I'm walking. <laughs> Still probably got overcharged. Yeah, but yeah, if it's your first time in one of these markets, you never want to take the first price. Yeah, I probably could have got down to more, but. <laughs> but want to be fair to him too. Yeah. I need some sunglasses because you've seen in our last video. Jumped in the ocean with my sunglasses on. We gotta get in this water. <laughs> and completely forgot I was wearing them when I came out of the water, they were all gone. Didn't realize until like an hour later that I had lost them to the ocean. So we're gonna have to find a new pair. And I'm always one for those knockoff ones because I do tend to break and lose them pretty easily. Look at this variety. Let's check it out. Oh, those are cool. I like those. Oh, those are cool. Oh, I like those on you. Alright, you check. Mmm. Kind of busy. Alright, yeah. How much? 65. 65. Whoa. You can negotiate how much you can spend. I was thinking closer to like 40 ish. So in the middle, 50. You can use Will you do 45? Okay. Those are cool. I like those. You even get a, a sunglass bag. Oh, look at that. There, there you go. go. Where are you from? Canada. Canada. Yeah. It's nice country. Yes. Very cold. Very cold. Very cold. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you, you, sir. Bye. All right, Kyle got his sunglasses. He's looking cool and sleek in them. A new pair to lose a break. <laughs> you know that won't take long, like next week or something. Yeah. And when we get to the next country we're headed to, which is in a couple weeks, I'll probably be buying another yeah. pair. First time I bought cologne in years. Nice designer style. Knockoff, obviously, but <laughs> it smells like the real thing. Because back in Canada, the same kind of bottle would be like over hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> this 65 ringgit, less than twenty dollars Canadian. That I can go with. Yeah. And you'll smell delicious. And that smell a little better for just. I couldn't find my converses. Uh, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> yeah, couldn't find the converses. Sizes just vary too much and so did the colors and designs. <laughs> couldn't quite nail down what she was looking. There's five and a half. Um, a six? What color you want? I would like gray. Yeah. Yeah. Just a bit. One size up. 
Okay, thank you. I wasn't a fan. I like black, but I find black is like heavy. It's funny how these markets always work out. You never quite find exactly what you're looking for and end up leaving with things you never thought you needed or wanted. <laughs> Couldn't find the Converse's, but got myself a little bit of cologne, new pair of sunglasses, just got herself some pants, and that's it. <laughs> but it was a cool market to check out. We would definitely recommend checking out Pedaling Street when you come down to Kuala Lumpur. You get a great view of that building. Look at that. Look at that, that's unbelievable. Very cool. Yeah, it just gives us one more reason to come back to the city. It's not open yet, so we can't go up to check out those views, but definitely worth the trip back. Didn't he say it was almost a kilometer high? Yeah, it's 0.8 kilometers or 800 meters high. You would have feel like they should have reached for that kilometer. Yeah, it might be just like a massive challenge. Yeah, very cool. But I think that's it for the market. We're moving on to the next place. All right, so we've just made it down here to the KLCC Park, right in the heart of Kuala Lumpur, an absolute must-see place when you come to the city. Yeah, it is beautiful during the day, but at night it is even more magical. They have some incredible light shows that happen every hour, and we're here to enjoy it. Yeah, and not only that, you get a really good view of the cityscape. It's all lit up, the Twin Towers are just right there, but the show's just about to start, so let's go find a place to sit. Well, that was pretty cool for sure. Yeah, it really does like, showcase how beautiful this city is and modern. It's very clean, you know what I mean? It's yeah, yeah. How gorgeous it is. Yeah, and it, the lights in this city are Look amazing. At it. <laughs> Unbelievable for sure. It almost reminds me a bit like Vegas. Yeah, you know a little bit, I mean? a little yeah. bit. Not quite the light show you get in Vegas, but it did remind me of like the fountain show in Bellagio for sure. Yeah. With the music and the lights and the big fountain. Great way to start an evening, but we just got started. Yeah. We're heading over to Chang Cat next. Let's go. All right, so Chang Cat is known as like kind of the nightlife hotspot here in Kuala Lumpur. And it's definitely living up to that name for sure tonight. Yeah, it is a bumping area. If you're ready to party, you wanna come down here. Yeah, we just came down here and it's a Monday night, but it's still bumping quite a bit. We just stopped and had some appies, a drink. Buddy tried to pull a fast one on Jess there. They did. <laughs> she tried to order a type of wine that was a little bit more expensive. And then they tried to give her the cheaper wine. And then he was like, Oh, you're good, you're good. Yeah, you have your wine radar on. I know, because I love my wine. Yeah, yeah, what are you trying to pull a fast one on us for? <laughs> but we're gonna go grab some more nibbles, maybe a couple more drinks, see what this place is all about, let's go. So Buddy was just telling us over at this Mexican restaurant here that it is more of a late night kind of place. It's already 12.30, but it's like still picking up like every minute there's more and more people showing up. It's only Monday night, but it's still going crazy here. It's a pretty fun place, but it's like a pretty short street. There's like maybe a block, half a block worth of bars. But it's like the bumping place in all of Kuala Lumpur. It, we were just saying it kind of reminds us of like Bangla Road when we were in Phuket, but a little bit tamer and a little bit less places to check out. Really cool spot though for sure. We're just outside of Gravy Baby, grabbed a pizza. We actually found a Gravy Baby when we were in Penang, 
awesome chain of restaurants and bars. If you're ever in Malaysia, definitely check them out. But yeah, we've had a couple drinks. Still drinking. Having a good night. Cheers on that, for sure.